I was out with mates, joking around. Then this older boy showed up. Damien, his name was. Seemed all right. Spoke to me loads and he couldn't take his eyes off me. After a bit, he said he could get us some alcohol. We said, sure. Sounded like fun. I went with him to the shop. I fancied him and wanted to talk some more. He spoke to me like I was an adult. Made me feel... I don't know. Amazing. We went back to my friends and everyone got lively. But the drink dried up quick and they went home. He asked me if I liked clubbing. Said he had mates out in town already. I'd never been to a club before. It sounded like a laugh. And I didn't want to go home anyway. So we went. At the club, the bouncer kept looking at me. I didn't like it. And then I didn't want to go in any more. I tried to walk away, but Jamie pulled me back and put his arm around me. Said it'd be fine. And that was it. We were in. Inside, the barwoman noticed me. I couldn't look at her in the eye. I swear she knew I was underage. Felt wrong. But Jamie and his mates kept buying me drinks and soon that feeling was gone. I was wasted. He noticed this and said I could do with a lie down. He was sweet. Ordered a taxi. Said he was taking me home. We got in the car and Jamie chatted with the driver, said we were celebrating completing my degree. I didn't know what he was talking about. The driver kept looking at me, trying to involve me in the chat, but I couldn't even talk. The taxi stopped and Jamie helped me out. I didn't know where I was, but Jamie said it was okay. He took me into a building. I realised it was a hotel. The receptionist asked me for my name, and Jamie answered. I told him I just wanted to go home, but he wouldn't listen. Then his mates from the club walked in. It was horrid. One of the guys got on the bed. He reached my face and put his tongue in my mouth. Jamie just watched, smiling. Then I felt another man touch me. I tried to pull away, but he was stronger than me. For what felt like hours, I just laid there, hoping it would end. I locked myself in the bathroom. The bath felt the safest place. After a while, I heard the sound of a hoover. I guessed it was the cleaner. I knew I was in so much trouble, but I yanked the door open. She looked disgusted at me. I pushed past her and just ran.